just living the dream, Anna. Hey, Idina. We can't imagine anyone else voicing Elsa. Your vocals literally bring the Ice Princess to life. And your co-stars do an amazing job, too. Oh, I'm just living the dream, Anna. Oh, how I wish this could last forever. Without the entire cast of Frozen 2, the sequel just wouldn't be the same. But let's face it, you didn't become the queen of Broadway without respecting your fair share of rules. If you or any of the other cast members disrespect the rules set out for you, you could lose your roles and disappoint a lot of fans. So we're happy you guys took the rulebook seriously. The life of a voice actor may seem pretty straightforward, but it's a lot more challenging than it seems. The entire cast of Frozen 2 was given a long list of strict rules that they had to follow. No ifs, ends, or buts. Keep watching till the end to find out which rule keeps these actors on lockdown. She seems like Elsa. Watch what you do and say. If there's one rule every voice actor lives by, it's to always be on their game. And the cast of Frozen 2 is no exception. At any moment, fans or reporters can ask them questions, and they need to know what they can and cannot answer. The last thing voice actors want is to get tricked into revealing too much about their upcoming films. Because, well, that would be a huge contract violation. Keeping the plot of Frozen 2 under wraps was the cast's primary concern, but not their only one. On top of keeping their lips sealed, the actors had to be on their best behavior. Since Frozen 2 has a relative young following, Idina Menzel, Kristen Bell, and the entire crew have to protect their image. If they make headlines for all the wrong reasons, Disney executives will come knocking and that's never a good thing. Scandals and spoilers are simply not permitted. Luckily, the entire cast was able to retain their stellar reputations. I'm coming. Me too. I'll drive. I'll bring the snacks! Represent your character. You would think that voice actors spend most of their time in the recording studio, but that just isn't the case, especially not with a high-profile movie like Frozen 2. While secondary characters like Grandpa B, Ryder, Yelena, and Honey Marin aren't required to attend major events, the main cast is, 100% of the time. Jonathan Grof, Josh Grad, Kristen Bell, and Idina Menzel have a lengthy contract that obligates them to attend press releases and social events, no matter what continent they're on. So on top of spending a lot of time in the studio, these actors are required to travel and deliver plenty of FaceTime. But most of them don't mind the hectic schedules, as it helps promote the movie while allowing them to wear designer clothes to red carpet events. Yeah! Oh, thank you! Love thank you guys! You thank you! Chime in. To properly voice an animated character, you have to become that character, inside and out. And the more voice actors connect with their characters, the more believable their performances will be. When a bond is finally formed, these actors can start chiming in and giving producers ideas, which is sort of expected of them. Disney producers and writers consulted with the voice actors of Frozen 2. They wanted their opinions and feedback on storylines and character arcs, but they also wanted their ideas. Since no one knows the characters more than the actors who play them, it's pretty much required for the cast to chime in, especially when dealing with sequels. Creative brainstorming might not be part of the job description, but it's a small price to pay for voicing household names like Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf. Here at The Things, we love posting videos about the latest Disney films, like Frozen 2. If you love theory videos, don't forget to subscribe and enable post notifications. This way, you can be the first to comment on our latest videos. If you're tuning in on your mobile, turn on post notifications on your YouTube settings. Clear your schedule. Anyone who has worked for Disney knows how challenging it can be to create a flawless storyboard. They basically don't exist, and plots and scripts are constantly changing as new ideas get introduced. A voice actor can spend days rehearsing for a certain scene only to have it cut. Unicorn, ice cream, castle, oaken, teapot. And they can be given a day off after long hours in the studio only to be called in because a new scene was just introduced. The cast of Frozen 2 had to clear their schedules in case they were asked back to the studio for another round of recording. And in case of a sequel, threequel, or spin-offs, these actors also have to be aware of accepting new projects. They're legally obliged to voice their characters, so when Disney calls, they have no choice but to answer. <laughs> Unredeemable monster! Greatest mistake of your life! We didn't even kiss you! Protect your voice. A voice actor's worst fear is getting sick, and they're expected to do everything to stop this from happening. From wearing a scarf to constantly drinking warm liquids to staying in when the weather gets bad. All of this, and more, is expected of them. The cast of Frozen 2 did everything in their power to stay healthy while filming Frozen 2. Can you imagine Elsa singing Into the Unknown with a raspy voice? Well, neither can we. Anna, I belong here. Alone. And that's a wrap on the five strict rules the voice actors of Frozen 2 had to follow. Which rule surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments.